Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Recently I did a video on how to grow hydroponic melons indoors and I promised that I'm going to do a follow-up video tasting the melons and uh, I've also got a few requests as well so here we are. Today the plants are 90 days old so the fruits are ready to be picked. So uh, we are going to pick one of these fruits and then take it inside and test it out to see how good it is. Um, a way to tell that the melon is ready is uh, by the way it smells. So it smells amazing right now. You can just pick it up and give it a sniff and it smells very nice and sweet. Also you see all the, the, the vines around it and the, and the tendrils are all dried up. And also if you look at the, uh, the, the spot where the stem is attached to the melon, it's almost like it's, it's going to, uh, to come apart. So uh, those are the, the, some of the, the, um, the, the hint to know that the melons are ready. Also, if you uh, just push it lightly like this, it'll, it'll come right off. Uh, if you have to yank it, then the melon's not ready. So look at that. We just harvested this melon and here we are. What a beautiful fruit. So uh, let's take this inside uh, and cut it open and try it out. Okay, here is a closer look at the melon. Not a very big melon, but uh, pretty good size, I would say. And I'm very happy how it turned out, just growing this in hydroponic indoors. So uh, let's cut this open and see what it looks like inside. It smells pretty good. Wow, look at that. Very juicy, you see, the, the liquid is flowing. So this is the amazing thing about growing uh, the melons at home because you can pick it at the right time and when you cut it, look at all the juice flowing out. Okay, so uh, here's a closer look. Uh, normally what, what uh, people would do is they will pick this melon and uh, it still have the little bit of the vine on top and then wait around five to ten days and then eat them because by then the, so the flesh will become softer and uh, that's when it's the sweetest. But uh, we didn't do that so uh, <laughs> hopefully it's, it's still pretty good. So let's go ahead and cut a piece here. Actually let, let me scoop out the, the seeds first. Okay, wow, it, is, it smells amazing, guys. I was scooping it out and I gave it a sniff. Okay, so there we are. Let's give this a try. Okay, here is the melon. Wow, it is really nice and juicy. Uh, there's a lot of liquid flowing out when I cut it. Mmm, smells amazing. It smells very sweet, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, here's the piece that I... I took all the seeds out of. Mmm. Wow, you see all the juice is still, it's like all over the place. Wow, this is so sweet. Mmm. I think if I leave this a few more days, it's gonna be like sugary, syrup sweet. But wow, this is very, very sweet. I can't believe that uh, growing in melons in hydroponic indoors can taste this good. Uh, this is actually the first time I've done watermelons before and it, it's also very sweet, but this type of like honeydew um, Is the first time wow, it's so good Mmm Very sugary sweet with that nice refreshing uh, melon flavor and uh, there's no way you can tell this is hydroponic. No way. <laughs> it is amazing. Mmm. Wow. Um, probably the sweetest melon I've had uh, so far. Usually when I buy them at the grocery store, they, they don't seem to be 
that sweet. Occasionally, occasionally you get one that's really sweet, but a lot of the times I, I really don't know how to pick melon, so I always get you know the one that's not very good. But yeah, um, definitely grow your own melons. Uh, if you can grow it in hydroponic, do it. Grow it in soil, you can also do that. But um, it is amazing and it's very, very sweet. There's no way you can tell this came out of hydroponic. So um, there you have it, guys. It is amazing. Uh, I highly recommend trying it out. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, growing hydroponic melons uh, does take a long time, so this is 90 days as I mentioned. So what that means is uh, in the 90 days, you know, that's three months of, uh, of your electricity bill. And is it worth getting just a few melons? Probably not. Um, you can go to the, probably the grocery store and buy a few uh, for the price you pay in growing this inside. But if you have space to grow a lot of them, then that becomes uh, more worth it. Uh, for me, I only grow two vines, which gave me four fruits in 90 days, which is uh, totally not worth it. But the joy that I get out of this experiment is way more worth it than the cost of my electric electricity bill. So uh, ex if you're into experimenting and, and trying things out, definitely go for it. it it's it's going to be worth it because it's going to make you very, very happy. Uh, but if you're concerned with cost, then don't do it because the return is not going to be, uh, you know, worth the cost of it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.